Hi, welcome to my channel. This is a compilation video of my previous riser DIYs. This oval black was from Dollar Tree. And I used 16 tower blocks and some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue. First, I glue a tower block in the middle of each side. And then I glue three tower blocks in between each of those and I try and space them out as evenly as I can. If you don't have blocks then you could probably cut down some dowels for this. I know you can get like some thicker dowels in Walmart and you could use that instead of the blocks. Or you could use one of the skinny skewers and put some beads on it and that would be nice too. I might try that myself in a future uh, video. And you don't have to use the oval plaque for this, you can use the other shapes. I am going to use one of the other shapes for the bottom of this. But you could use both ovals or both of the other shape, it's up to you. So this is the other plaque. I painted them with some Waverly plaster chalk paint but you can use any colour or stain that you like. And then I am just using a Dollar Tree sanding block to distress it. You could just paint it on distressed or you could use another colour to, to distress it if you want to. Or you could just leave it fully painted. And I didn't paint the tops of the tower blocks because I'm going to glue them down and I think it'll um, glue better if I don't paint them. This ribbon is from Sheen and I am just hot gluing a piece to the inside of the back of one of the tower blocks and then I'm just weaving it in and out going all the way around and I wanted my middle front piece to have the ribbon on the outside so when you're gluing it just make sure that it's going to turn out like that and then I get back to the start and then I just glue that piece down and then trim off the ribbon And then I am just gluing the tower blocks and then I'm going to place it on top of the other plaque. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and then put something heavy on it till it dries. And this is a wee heart that says love on it, it's made of wood and um, it's from the wise for you today. So the first DIY you only need seven tower blocks and then some wood glue. So it's not much of a tower block DIY but it does use them. This is a coaster. I got a set of 12 from Amazon. I will link it down below. And then I'm just gluing down a tower block and then I'm just placing a Christmas tree in between the tower blocks. I'm not gluing them down yet. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. What I should have done is set it all out first before I started gluing it and made my spacing better. So you guys will know to do that instead. But you don't have to use Christmas trees for this. You could use the wee mushrooms or the angels or the snowmen in place of the Christmas trees. So I'm just using this the Christmas trees as spacers because we are not gluing them to this part of the DIY. This wooden plaque is from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing the part that I just made on top. I'm not gluing it down but I am going to glue the trees in between each of those tower blocks. 
I know you can't really see what I'm doing right now, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it all the way around. Don't worry, I will show you in just a sec what it looks like. And then I'm gluing these right to that rim. Oh, that's a quick look. <laughs> And then I stained the pieces with some golden oak gel stain by Varathane and I've got my wee helper back and now I'm going to glue the pieces together. I didn't want to glue them together because obviously I had the stain on the inside. I love how this turned out. Obviously you can paint it or stain it any colour you like. I chose to use the golden oak but I just placed a candle on it. You could also put a wee plant on it. And then this is a rechargeable battery operated candle from Amazon, so I'll link them down below as well. A set of three, uh, of three different sizes of tree DIYs today. So I have this Inspire sign and I'm just going to paint it with some white Waverly chalk paint. And then I have six of the little wooden cubes and I'm just going to hot glue one to each corner. And I glued it so that the corners of the squares were facing the corners of the sign. And then I painted it with a black ink chalk paint. And I have these little cute transfers from Dollar Tree. And I'm just picking one to go in the middle of each side. And when you're rubbing these on, you just need to keep rubbing until it kind of goes, till the the design fades and then you know that it's stuck down to whatever you're sticking it to. And I'm going to use my Cricut for the rest of the DIYs but I just wanted to show you that you can still make cute stuff with the Dollar Tree transfers. I think these little cacti transfers are so cute. That's me just checking to see if it will fit where I want to place it. But yeah, I think they're so cute and I did use the coloured ones for a DIY before Christmas but then I dropped my hard drive <laughs> and lost all the footage of, of that DIY and some other ones. But it's okay because I could easily make them again. Maybe I might do that in the future. I don't know. You can add more transfers to this if you wanted to, but I wanted to keep it simple. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out so cute. It's just nice little simple plant stand and didn't take long to make it all. I just use a sanding sponge to sand off this unicorn, this wooden unicorn box from Dollar Tree and it doesn't take long, it's just a quick sand <laughs> and then I stain it with some Waverly antique wax I love how the antique wax looks and it always dries really quickly and this is what it looks like and then I'm going to take some ivory Waverly chalk paint and then just brush some of that on the box so I don't do the whole box for this one I do all the sides and the top edge and the inside and I leave the bottom I, I don't paint the bottom and for the next piece I do all the sides and the rim and the inside edges but not the, the bottom of the inside <laughs> and then I just paint a, a little bit of the edge around the other side of it because I'm going to be gluing the two pieces together and then once it's dry I just sand it off with a sanding sponge I just need a quick sand. 
and then have one of these tiles from Dollar Tree. So I just measure in it with the box to see where I need to cut it and then I use a ruler and an exacto knife so that I get a nice straight edge. And then I tried to fit it in this way and it didn't fit. <laughs> so I took it out and I turned it around and then it fit fine. And then I just pushed it down in the corners and stuff, made sure it was flat. And then I take some of the super glue, wood glue, and then I glue the two pieces together. And then I just put some jewellery in here, but you could always put a candle in here or you could put a plant on here. It's up to you. And then I have another way to style it. And you turn it upside down, you can make it a little succulent holder. These wee wooden pieces are the tails of the wooden snakes you can find in the crafter's square section of Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a pencil and I'm measuring them and marking them so that they will all be the same size. And I use these snakes in a DIY that's coming up in the future. <laughs> so watch out for that. But I wanted to use up these pieces that I had left over. So once I marked where I want to cut it, I just cut it with this little saw and there will be a link down below if you're interested in it. So I've got all three of them to size and then I make sure that they are all the same size after I cut them. And then I stained them with some Waverly Antique Wax. And then I have this Dream for Fear sign and I'm going to paint it with some plaster, Waverly Chalk paint. And I had to give it a wee sand off camera before I started. And here I have some twine and I'm just going to use some hot glue to put it in, keep it in place. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the corners. And I'm just going to twist it around, making sure that it crosses over itself. And just put a wee bit of hot glue as I go. Sorry if it goes off camera. <laughs> and then when I got to the end, I just hot glued it and then I tied it in a knot and I trimmed off those pieces later on. Next I burnt off all the wee hairs with a lighter and have these laser cutouts from Dollar Tree. And I decided to use this little leaf for the front of this and I painted it with the Moss Waverly Chalk paint and then I just put a wee bit of hot glue on it and then stuck it to one of the sides and then I hot glued the legs on and I should have done that first because the little wooden cutout sticks up above and below the little triangle sign and this is how it turned out I'm just using it as a plant stand and I think it turned out really cute but you guys can let me know what you think below in the comments same tower block structure so I'm going to use two packs of the 72 block packs of tower blocks, some super glue, wood glue and a square ruler. So I just start by gluing 
the blocks together and I've put a number at the top of each layer so that you know which one you're on and um, I'm just marking off with a pencil where I'm going to cut and I have this little saw that I got from Amazon and I've got a link down below if you're interested in it but I'll show you at the end of this DIY that you don't have to use a saw and cut the pieces you can just stick them in the way and but for some of the DIYs in this video you will have to cut it down so I just keep placing the blocks around gluing them down and then that's the first layer and you can pause the video or slow it down so that you can see exactly how I'm placing the blocks so I, you just keep repeating the I'm well, just doing the same thing for each layer and it's not very exciting to watch <laughs> so I made this DIY and then I had an idea for another DIY and another one, another one <laughs> using these squares so I had to make these squares over and over again <laughs> but it's worth it because they all turned out really nice if it had more blocks I probably could have come up with some more things so maybe in the future so I'm obsessed with ancient Egypt and pyramids and stuff so I love these but um, if you're not into that then obviously the other DIYs later on in the video I um, hope you like those ones so there's no more explaining really for this I'm just making the squares smaller one each time and you just need to watch and see the pattern for each layer and I'm just going to let the music play for now because I don't have anything else to say about it.
once all your layers are dry, you're just going to glue them together. Now, if I put a bit too much glue on, you could probably get away with just putting it in the corners. And for each row, I am just putting it on at an angle so that like, all the corners are touching at an angle. And I just keep doing that for each layer. If you wanted to make the other pyramid, you can just put them uh, square with obviously an equal space around the edge of each one. So just keep gluing these on and definitely um, don't put as much glue <laughs> just in the corners because when you turn it over you can see it. And that's the last layer. For this next DIY, I took the first layer and I made it and I didn't cut down the blocks and then I just filmed in the inside in. And off camera I made all the other layers except for the last layer with the three little blocks. So I'm just going to glue them together. And there I didn't cut them because you're not going to see inside this one. I'm just cluing them together in the spiral shape and you could always do it the square way if you wanted to and then I just wipe off any excess glue that spills out. And you see here, this was the ninth layer and I didn't do the last layer. You can if you want to, if this is all you wanted to make, but I wanted to make, well, I wanted to use this DIY and the last DIY to put together to make the next DIY. <laughs> so you only need the tenth layer on one of them. And then when you glue it together, make sure that the biggest squares line up with each other and then you can have it this way. I think it turned out, it looks really cool. I love it. I just put the succulents in that back in the top. Or you could turn it upside down and then have it like a little plant stand, put your candles on, things like that. So let me know which way you would have it. And it's just good to have options. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below. I love getting your guys' feet. It's another easy DIY. I have this wood circle from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut off the twine. You can fill the hole in if you want to. And I stain it with some early American wood stain. And then I'm using this spider ribbon. It's also from Dollar Tree. I just measure how much I'm going to need and then cut it. And then I start painting on some Mod Podge. I have the glossy one, but anyone will do. You could just glue them down as well. But I like to put Mod Podge on the top as well. Just to make sure that it stays in place. I was going to use the skeleton ribbon that I used in the last video, but I thought I'd better use this one because I bought it as well. So once I've done some of it, I take my heat gun and I will link that down below as well and just dry it off a bit, make sure it sticks in place before I move on to the next part. And this DIY isn't in your face Halloween so I'm going to put it in the living room <laughs> and I'm going to see how long it takes for them to notice because they're all scared of spiders. I'm the only one in the house that's not scared of spiders. And I just keep repeating the same thing all the way around until I get to the end. And Dollar Tree has loads of different Halloween ribbons that you could use for this or even just a normal ribbon. 
could always make them with the Christmas ribbon or fall or whatever you like and you could make them into coasters and I was gonna just leave this like this but then as you'll see in the next clips I do put some wee feet on it So I have four of the half beads and I painted them with some black acrylic paint and this is what it looked like when it's dry and again you can fill that hole in if you want to but I'm just going to glue these to the bottom with some wood glue you can use hot glue if you like and then it's just a wee plant stand or I could put a candle on here For this next DIY, I have the stickers that I used in the first DIY, um, a piece of the scrap wood and a candle holder from Dollar Tree. I'm just making a border again because I had enough to make this DIY, <laughs> um, just enough. Uh, so I'm just making the border again and just doing the same steps as I did for the last two DIYs and um, painting them with the ivory chalk paint and then dry brushing the ocean paint. Oh, there's Ethan <laughs> playing with my, he always comes in and plays with my craft stuff. That's my partner's son, he lives with us. And it's his seventh birthday today. <laughs> so I'm quickly doing this voiceover so that we can go out for um, dinner and stuff in a wee while. So I'm just using the ocean paint again. Already said that. <laughs> and just dry brushing it. And again, you can use whatever colours you like for this but I do love these two colours together but it would look nice it would look nice with some pink or something I made another stencil on my Cricut and I just looked up heart and then I found this one and I thought it would go nice so I'm just doing the same thing again, um, sticking the vinyl down and then I'm going to dab on the ocean paint. And when I pulled this off, I did take a little bit of the ivory paint off so I probably should have waited a bit longer. For it to dry. Well, I, did, I dried it with a hair dryer but I was just wanting to get these finished because <laughs> I get too excited to see the um, final result so um, yeah. <laughs> but it still turned out nice. You could always put some Mod Podge or something over the top if you wanted to. And then I'm just hot gluing the candlestick to the wood and you can use a stronger glue if you like but I'm just gonna use hot glue and then it turned out really cute and you can just put a plant on here or a um, candle whatever you like okay. I'm gonna start with this wee sign this says love laughter and happy ever after on it and I'm gonna paint the whole thing with some Waverly ink chalk paint and then I have some craft sticks and I was thinking they might fit this way but they didn't so I put them this way and they didn't quite fit so what I'm going to do is space them out when I glue them on so I'm just measuring how long I need to cut them and then I'm marking it off and I'm just cutting them with some scissors 
and then I'll do the rest off camera. So I have all the pieces and some of these half beads and I'm going to stain them all with some early American wood stain and I'm going to use some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue and then I'm going to glue, well I'm going to hot glue these pieces to the top and I'm just leaving a wee gap in between them you can see there and then I just hot glued them all on so now I'm going to use the wood glue to glue the half beads all around the edge and there was eight each on the long side and then five each on the shorter side and I just spaced them out a wee bit and I'll link these down below if you are interested in them I'll link them in the, the description box if you wanted to you could use hot glue for this part but I like to use the wood glue and then after I had glued them on I had stained four of the next side up to make four wee feet and then I glue them on the bottom so these are all quite easy DIYs today apart from a wee bit of staining but you can always just paint the stuff if you didn't want to wait on the stain drying and then I have this lotus flower candle holder from Dollar Tree and I was going to hot glue it on but then I decided not to because I bought two other ones and this is how it turned out and I think it turned out so cute I found these tower tumble blocks are five below and they are a lot bigger than the Dollar Tree ones so I'm just going to hot glue them together in this pattern
and for this DIY you need two packs of tumbling tower blocks, the 72 block packs, I will never get those. And then I already, already made two um, rectangles which have 18 blocks in them each and I'm just making a third one. Just using the, the wood glue. And then wiping off the excess. So that's my three rectangles. And now I'm making two sets of six tower blocks. And these are going to be for the sides. Once I'm finished, I'll just leave them all to set for, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. <laughs> Doesn't take long. And then I forgot to film me putting some beads on the bottom corners of two of the rectangles and I recorded me fixing them, <laughs> fix them, fixing them. So next I'm going to take the two smaller pieces and attach them to the piece that doesn't have any beads on it. I'm just always taking off the excess glue and then I'm going to turn these two pieces over because those beads were for the legs and then our feet. <laughs> I'm going to glue this other piece on the top and then I glue these wooden half beads in each corner and I'll leave a link below before them. I'm obsessed with these beads now. <laughs> have to use them on, on almost everything. And for this next part, I turn it over and then I glue eight tower blocks to one side and then off camera, I glue the next set of tower blocks on the other side. And then I forgot to show it, but I stained it with the Vintage Aqua Rust-Oleum wood stain. And then I printed off these stars, it's called Magic Dust Trail I think, on my Cricut. And I found it on Cricut Design Space. And I'm just transferring the vinyl and I'm just making sure that that middle star is lined up with the middle of the blocks. And then those two stars at the, the end, you can see, oh, and then I use <laughs> the plaster Waverly chalk paint. But those two stars that are at the end of the stand, I don't do those because I don't want any stars on that edge piece. And I didn't do the top one either. And then I just dried it a little bit with a hairdryer so that I could put another star on that side to fill it out. And then I also put it off sleep tight and I'm just going to transfer that. And I give another blast of the hairdryer. So I just position that and then and then I peel off the transfer tape. And then I use this Apple Barrel Mountain Blue paint. And then I just use a makeup sponge again to apply the paint. And I thought these colours would go nice together. And then I just peel off the transfer tape. And then I blast it with the hairdryer. <laughs> so that I can take these little bits off and I don't smudge any of the paint. And then I made this because I got these 
little moon cloud and star from Dollar Tree and I wanted something to display them on and I think it would be perfect for like a nursery or a little kitchen room or something. Seed so one pack of tower blocks for this DIY and some wood glue and then I'm going to glue together six tower blocks in a row and then five, four, three and two. You could put the one on the end if you want to but I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't like how it looked because the main diamond is going to be in the middle. So once I made that I'm just gluing tower blocks, just one row all around the outside of the diamond. You could do two rows um, stacking them up if you wanted to. It's up to you. And of course I have to put the beads on. <laughs> So I'm just putting them on the outside and then I have four bigger beads and they're going to be the wee feet on the bottom. So I'm just going to glue them down. And then I stained it with the early American wood stain. And it's just a wee riser that you can put stuff on, but it turned out really cute. That down below, the video for that. Need two tower block packs for this DIY. And some wood glue. And I made five more of these diamonds like I did in the last DIY and I put the beads on two of them. I done it on the inside of the diamond. So now I'm just going to glue two tower blocks standing up to each side and then I'm going to stack up the pieces that don't have beads on them. Did I say I turned the first bead one over? Turn the first bead, <laughs> beaded piece over because you need the beads to be on the outside. And then I stacked them up like this. And then I put the one with the beads on the top. So yeah, I did make a planter in a previous video. That's where I got the idea for all these DIYs. Um, but I stained it in the Jacobean wood stain so I didn't want to put it in this video so I will link it down below in case you want to make that and make things a set and stuff or to match the lantern And I stained it with the early American wood stain and it's just a plant stand. Uh, I was going to make a top for it and make it riser but I couldn't decide what kind of top I wanted to put on it whether I wanted it to be the diamond shape or a rectangle or a square. So if you make this you can decide what you want to put if you want to make it like this or you want to put a top on it and you can let me know in the comments what you would do. For this next DIY you need 10 rows and you need two of each and it goes from one block up into 10 blocks <laughs> and then you just start with the biggest one which is 10 then glue 9 then 8 all the way down to 1.
and then repeat the same thing with the remaining blocks and you end up with this and then all I do is join them together and then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and then it's just like a little riser you can put, I put this little blue vase thing I got from Dollar Tree but you could put whatever you wanted on it and then this next DIY I set out the bricks in a row of five but actually that's wrong but I'll show you later how I fixed it and then I just cut one in half with this wee saw that I got from Amazon and I started the next row and then put the other half on the other side of that row and then yeah some of them don't fit very well so you just have to swap them out and then the third row I just did the whole blocks and then the next row I cut the piece I cut the end pieces and I just kept repeating that pattern and I can't remember how many that I did <laughs> in the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then I needed it to be longer so I just kept swapping them out like this and then all I had to do is cut another block for the end. And then once I'd set it all out like this, I then glued it all together. And you don't have to do this pattern. You could just put the, the blocks together in straight lines without cutting the pieces if you don't have anything to cut them with. And then I made four of the pieces that I made in the last DIY. And then I just glue one on each side and it looks complicated but it was quite didn't take that long and was easy to do and I just stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax and if you have it this way around you can just fill it with some Spanish moss and some succulents like I did you can always paint it another colour or you could always make the triangle part and make it on the top and the bottom that's the way I'm making it as a tray yeah let me know which one of these DIYs is your favourite thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon